Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. <laughs> you know, this story really tickles my funny bone. But on the other hand, it has a very serious side to it. It's a mysterious and frustrating story involving Stumpy. We'll call it The Cat in the Wall. The big tomcat you're hearing on the prowl is called Blackie. He's the fond pet of Mrs. Beulah Lindstrom. Now, Beulah and Blackie live next door to Stumpy Jenkins. Stumpy's just coming home after a hard day on the trail. Gray Wolf is with him. He lives two blocks from the old timer. You know something, young feller? Oh, what that old timer? I'm tired as an old rug. I'm plenty tired, too. We spend a hard day on trail. I'm not used to riding horseback all day. <laughs> oh, then it's not your feet that tired. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. It's the back of my lap. That saddle is as hard as a board. Uh, uh, how do you think horse feel? <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, old Matilda would look around at me as if to say... Get off my back and walk, you <laughs> big loafer. <laughs> well, hello, Blackie. How is the world treating you? Well, how you and Beulah get along these days? Oh, so, so. She hasn't found anything to complain about lately. Ah, she had a nice cat. He friendly fellow. She ought to let some of the cat's friendliness rub off on her. Ah, you plenty harsh about neighbor. Oh, I'm just running off at the mouth. She isn't such a bad sort. I guess I could have a worse neighbor. It's just that she's so persnickety. Everything got to be perfect. Well, come on in for a cup of coffee, Gray Wolf. And I'll give Blackie some milk. Ah, a cup of coffee go plenty good now. <laughs> Blanky sure finish off milk like nothing. Yep. He comes over most every night and has his milk. And Beulah doesn't think much of it. Says I'm trying to take the cat away from her. Stop the Jenkins. Open the door. Uh oh. Plug up your ears, Gray Wolf. Well, it's about time you showed some common courtesy and opened the door. Is Black. That's a foolish question. Of course he's here. Come on, Blackie. Time to go to bed. Good night, Blackie. I told you a hundred times I don't want Blackie in your house. You're trying to take him away from me. Why don't you get your own cat? <laughs> I don't want your old cat. We're just friends. He's not an old cat, and I don't want him to have the likes of you for a friend. You're trying to kidnap him. You mean catnap him, don't you, Beulah? <laughs> well, I'm not... Good night, Mrs. Lindstrom. <laughs> I see what you mean now. <laughs> yeah, a woman like that can drive a man out of his right senses. Why should I want to steal her cat? If I want a mouse trap, I'll go buy one at the hardware store. <laughs> You think all the ice is out of the river, Bill? Oh, sure, Henry. Lumberjacks will be starting their log rafts downstream the first of the week. We got to get these navigation markers up or their logs won't stay in raft form very long. Ah, uh, then there'll be plenty of trouble. You all set to shove off? Yep. I'll cast off the lines.
Uh, is the old timer with us, or did he fall over the side? Oh, he's with us, but he's kind of glum about something. Uh, I think old timer have woman trouble. Well, as I live and breathe. I guess love can bloom at any age. You keep talking like that. You won't be right side up in this boat very much longer. Hey, you really got a crab on. Uh, what's the matter, old friend? Yeah, what's eating you anyway? I was only teasing before. Hey, no. Oh, a chad woman next door to me. Oh, you and Mrs. Lindstrom having a round by round again? Yeah, not exactly, but she thinks I'm trying to steal her cat. Well, you not let him in house, and then you not have trouble. If I don't let him in, give him his milk, then he sits out there and bellies his head off. up all your old shoes and throw them at him. I'm not mad at the cat, young feller. Never should have started that late snack business with him, and we'd be all right. Sometimes kindness to animal makes master jealous. Yeah, that's true. Come on now, snap out of it, Stuffy. Bill will get over it. I hope so. Because I hate to come home every night and have a fight with her. That's exactly right, Mabel. If Stumpy Jenkins doesn't leave Blackie alone, I'm I'm, I'm going to get the sheriff after him. Yes, that's right. He's getting bolder and bolder. And, and, and I know Blackie's going to disappear one of these days if I don't nip it in the bud right now. Yes, imagine the nerve of that man trying to steal my kid right out from under my very nose. And if he thinks he can get away with it, he's got another thing coming. Yes, well... Yeah, well, it's lunchtime now, so goodbye, Mabel. I'll put those in the bag for you, Mrs. Lindstrom. What do you think I should do about my cat, Mr. Barnes? Well, keep him in the house. That's what I do. Well, now, you know, that'd be cruel. Cats like to have their nightly prowl. It uh, sort of makes them feel like lions <laughs> on the hunt. Yes, but you really think Stumpy's trying to steal Blackie? Uh, honestly? Hmm, I most certainly do. I don't make things up out of my imagination, Mr. Barnes. Well, I didn't say you did, but why would he want your cat? Because Blackie's a fine cat. The old man's lonesome and like to have him for company when he comes home at night. I should think he'd buy his own cat if he wants one that badly. I'd think so, too. And, you know, he's supposed to be such a religious man. A person would never know it by the way he takes on. Good day, Mr. Barnes. Good day. Call again. <laughs> Now, your shoes are ready, Mrs. Lindstrom. Yeah, they are. Oh, thank you. You did a fine job, Tim. Say, what did you do if somebody was trying to steal your pet? Why, I'd punch him right in the nose. <laughs> Land sakes, I can't very well do that. Besides, the man's a forest ranger and able to take care of himself, even if I could. A forest ranger's trying to steal your pet? Yes, Stumpy Jenkins. And he's after my big tomcat, Blackie. Boy, that's a new one. Well, I'm sorry, I have to rush, but a customer's calling back in 20 minutes for his shoes, and i got to have them ready. It's too bad I'm not a man, or I would punch Stumpy Jenkins right in the nose. Good morning, Reverend Smith. Good morning, Mrs. Lindstrom. How are you? Not too well, thank you. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. I will when Stumpy Jenkins stops trying to steal my cat. Uh, Stumpy's trying to steal your cat? Surprised, aren't you? Well, to say the least. Perhaps you better keep a closer watch on your congregation. Good day. <laughs> Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. What? Well, thank you for calling. Goodbye. Stumpy, it, it's about... Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Yes? 
Yes, I've already been told. Well, thank you. Goodbye. You wanted to say something to me, Sonny? Yeah, if I ever get around to it. Bill Jefferson speaking. Oh, uh, hello, Pastor. How are you? What? You too? Uh, yes, I'll look into it. Uh, thanks for calling. Goodbye. Hey, what's up? Something strange is going on around here. You're right there, young feller. Maybe that talking machine will shut up long enough for Bill to tell us. Well, what's wrong? I not like look on your face. Old timer, Beulah Lindstrom's fixed your wagon, but good. Huh? What do you mean by that? She's spreading the word around that you're trying to steal her cat. What? Why that old busybody? Well... Looks like I have to move to put an end to this stuff. How far has she spread the word? All over the countryside, it sounds like. Well, we have to do something about this. Beulah should not tell a wild story like this. I'll say she shouldn't, because it ain't true. Who'd steal her cat? If I weren't a Christian, I'd sue her for slander, that's what. We've got to do something about this. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay at your house tonight, Bill. I won't go home to a fight. Well, that only helped prove she's right. And look like you run away. Gray Wolf's right. I think I'll go over and have a talk with her. Huh? What do you think that'll accomplish? I don't know, but it's worth a try. <laughs> So's talking to a brick wall. But it don't do any good. <laughs> So the old buzzard sent you over here to talk to me, eh? Well, that's about what I expected. He can't fight his own battles. On the contrary, Mrs. Lindstrom. I came of my own free will, and it was my idea. Did you know Stumpy's seriously considering moving because of the trouble you're making for him? <laughs> he's making trouble only for himself. And I think he's got the right idea... He should move, and then there'd be peace and quiet around here, and Blackie could live without the fear of being taken away. Have you proof that Stumpy wants to steal your cat? Yes, plenty of it. Being friendly to the animal and giving him milk every night isn't proof. That's what you think. He's trying to take the animal from me by bribing it. Mrs. Lindstrom, Stumpy has a warm spot in his heart for animals. He doesn't want your cat. Is that so? I've watched him, and I know. You know nothing but a lot of loose talk. It's going to get you into serious trouble if you don't stop it. Well, so now you're threatening me. Well, you can't scare me. Not for one minute. I'm not trying to scare you. Just caution you. If Stumpy weren't a Christian, he'd sue you for slander right now. A fine religious man he is, trying to steal my pet. Don't push him too far, Mrs. Lindstrom. If this continues, I'd say he'd be justified to take you to court. You just don't go around spreading lies about people. They're not lies. They're facts, and I can prove it. You haven't proven it to me. And I'd be the first man to arrest him if you could prove that your lies are facts. Good day, Mrs. Lindstrom. You tell Stumpy Jenkins that he'd better not start any more trouble or I'll have him arrested. That's what I'll do. I still think I should pack up and move. It would be the easiest way out for everybody. Uh, it's easiest, all right, Stumpy, but not best. Oh, Gray Wolf, when you get old like me... You'll be ready to accept the easy way out of a fight. It's all right for a young feller to say, go in there, both hands flying, but when you get old, you get tired of that. I like to come home to peace and quiet. Ah, they're a fellow that cause all trouble. Uh, not him, Gray Wolf, his mistress. Don't blame the cat. Uh, not right. Uh, Blackie, you go out home now. No milk tonight. I'm sorry, pal, but I'm in the doghouse bad enough. No use pouring oil on the fire. Go on now, get out of here, Scott! <laughs> Poor feller, probably things have turned against him. Well, Grey Wolf, I'm going in, hit the hay. Good night. Uh, 
Good night. Don't lose sleep over this. You're not one who tell lies. Just a minute. Keep your shirt on. Leave the door up. All right, I'm coming. There he is, Cheryl. Arrest that man. What? As if you didn't know. You stole Blackie just like you said you'd do. Boy, Mom sure cooked a real meal tonight. It's no different than any other night. You must be unusually hungry. He's right, Mom. This is really delicious. Extra plus. Thank you. Uh, I'll get it, since it's probably for me anyway. Hello? What? Oh, Cal, you must be joking. Oh, no. All right, I'll be right over. Henry, grab your hat, let's go. And leave these tender morsels? Stumpy's been arrested. I told you, Bill Jefferson, I'd have him arrested, and I did. And if he doesn't give me my cat this instant, he's going to jail. Terrible, man. He he probably killed Blackie or or tortured him just to get even with me. Well, I'll show him. Just wait till I get through with you, you you cat stealer. Cal, Cal, get this woman out of here and have a doctor give her a sedative. You try and throw me out of this house. Is this your house? No, but my cat's here. Is that fact or fiction? Fact. Prove it. Cal... Let me see your search warrant. Well, I, I haven't got one, Bill. Then get this lady out of here. Not until I get Blackie back, dead or alive. I haven't got your confounded cat. So you don't have my cat, eh? That ain't a dog barking. Stumpy, I, I'm going to have to take you in and come back with a search warrant. Unless you want to give Mrs. Lindstrom her cat now. I'm telling you, Cal, if that's Blackie, I don't know anything about it. When I came home tonight, Blackie met me at the front gate, just like always does. Then I shoot him home just to avoid any further trouble. Uh, that's a likely story. Sheriff, do your duty. Can you uh, prove your story, old-timer? <laughs> and oh, Gray Wolf was with me. Uh, Henry, call Gray Wolf and ask him to come over here, will you? Right away, Bill. Cal, you're acting on circumstantial evidence. I know that, but what can I do? Beulah signed a warrant. I know what I can do. What? It wouldn't make this more involved than it is. Well, I can't promise that, but I can sign a warrant against Beulah for a suspicion of false arrest. You wouldn't dare! I'll do it without being dared. Sometimes I'm sorry I'm the sheriff. Bill, we've been friends a long time, but... Well, it appears to me that you're trying to wiggle Stumpy out of something. Not in the least. If Stumpy's guilty of stealing Blackie, then he'll answer to the law just like anyone else. But I know he's not guilty. My cat! Sheriff, if you don't do your duty and arrest this man and get my cat back, I'll call the district marshal and have him do it. No, just a minute, Mrs. Lindstrom. I've known these men for a long time. And I know they're men, not liars. If Bill says that the old-timer didn't take your cat, well, that's good enough for me. And I believe the old-timer, too. Here's Gray Wolf. Gray Wolf, were you with Stumpy tonight when he chased Blackie home? Uh, I was there. Stumpy sent Cat home to avoid trouble. I saw Cat walk away. Listen, fellas... Instead of standing here glowering at each other, we'd better get the cat out from between the walls. Between the walls? Yes. I can tell by the muffled sound of his voice that he's got himself down inside the wall. Please get him out. Oh, please, before it's too late. What about the warrant, Mrs. Lindstrom? Put it in your pocket for now. I want my cat out from inside that wall, alive. (laughs) 
I sure wish Tumpy would wash his attic floor once in a while. <laughs> Boy, but the dust is thick up here. <laughs> Are you serious? Tumpy never used this skinny space. <laughs> I'm only joking. A little more. We should be right over the bathroom wall. Do you see the cat? All I see are fire blocks in between the walls. A cat couldn't possibly get down inside the wall from here. No joking. How do you suppose it got there? Well, let's have a look from the basement. But isn't Blackie pretty big to climb up inside the wall? Who said it's Blackie? Uh, all right, any cat. I can see where a cat might fall down inside the wall. But climb up? I don't know about that. Well... There's one way to find out. Let's look down in the basement. How in the name of common sense did the cat get up there? Well, there are fire blocks here, too. Yeah, that's a good question. A very good question. This thing is going to put me in the insane asylum before it's over. How'd that crazy cat get in there? Maybe there's a hole behind bathtub. Now, there's an idea. And a good possibility. Let's find out. Do you see anything, Bill? No. A wall as solid as Gibraltar. This getting plenty strange now. Cat in bathroom wall, sure as we stand here. But how animal get there? If you can tell me, I'll be forever grateful to you, young feller. What are we going to do now? Where's Buell and the sheriff? Well, she invited him over for a cup of coffee while they're waiting for us to get that cat out. Oh, praise the Lord for small blessings. <laughs> I'd say the cat is right here in between the wall. All agreed? Yeah, sounds uh, right. Yep. All right, let's get some hammers and break the wall down, if it's all right with you, Stumpy. You can break the whole house down just as long as we find that cat! <laughs> You see the cat? Uh, no cat. Let's make a hole in the kitchen wall. Ah, uh, no cat here. Wow, what a mess we're making. I wish that cat would stay in one spot. Fellers. Let's try the dining room wall. Uh, I don't see a cat. I'm telling you, this is going to drive me out of my mind. Now what we do now? Tear down the rest of the house. What else? Wait a minute, fellas. The cat's voice may be deflected and carried from some remote part of the house by a freak acoustical setup. And then Stumpy's right. We'll have to tear down the rest of the house. Oh, not necessarily. I'm going to get Ted Thorpe out of bed and have him bring his electronic gear over here. Well, how will that help? He can track the sound and pinpoint it right to the spot where the cat is. Well, maybe I'll still have a roof over my head by the time we find the vent. Cat. You think the cat's down here in the basement, Ted? Well, that's what the machine says. Uh, please be quiet now while I track the sound a little further. Bill, come there. Uh, down in the basement, Cal. You can stop looking. Blackie just came home. He? What? Yep, just came home. Hey, I've got it, fellas. Where's the cat? Right here. I'm standing under it. 
Where? Oh. All I see is the water meter. That's your cat. The water meter's leaking and makes a meowing sound just like a cat. That's what it is, all right. You, you mean we wrecked my house for, for the water? I tell you, I ever after. Oh, Stumpy, I, I don't know what to say. Is there anything I can say to try and repair the damage I've done with my terrible mouth. Oh, I've, I've done you serious and a, a grave injustice, and I'm terribly sorry, Stumpy. You got every right to sue me for every penny I got. I'm not gonna sue you, Mrs. Lindstrom. You're not? Nope. I'm a Christian, and I want you to know that the Lord gave me love in place of hate. Jesus did all that he promised to do, when I accepted him as my savior. I can't hate you or be mean to you for this. I'm glad it happened this way. Maybe this will be a testimony to you that the Lord has taken away sin and made a new man out of me. I don't suppose there's any way I can repay you for the damage to your house. Nope. All I want is peace and quiet. And if I want to give Blackie some milk in an evening, not to be accused of stealing. You can give Blackie as much milk as you want any time you want, Stumpy. And I'm going to tell the whole town what a liar I was and how I wronged you. Uh, well, thank you. I think Blackie wants some milk now. And now you and me can be real friends. <laughs> Well, boys and girls, it's hard to believe, but the incident around which this story is built is true. Some time ago, the walls of a house were torn apart to try and find a cat believed to be trapped inside. Sound engineers were brought in, and the water meter was found to be the culprit. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! <laughs> Stumpy Jenkins, speaking for Ranger Bill, and saying don't forget to hit the trail with us every week at this time for lots of exciting adventure with all the Ranger gang. Henry Scott and Grey Wolf and Bill, of course, and me, the old-timer, are all on hand from time to time to bring you the best stories we can find. So you tune in to Naughty Pine and learn the latest that's happening around the Ranger Station or in the mountains and forests nearby, or maybe even someplace further away. Because that young feller Bill gets into all kinds of situations and troubles and complications when he's trying to help somebody else. So you be sure to join up with us next week for this half hour of storytelling, and then you won't lose out on anything that's going on. I'll be looking for you, so don't disappoint me.